what is going on today to y'all so i thought i'd make this video about where like i haven't posted anything it's been two months literally it's been over two months since i posted anything because i've not been able to so i apologize if you can hear my neighbors blowing the yard off but there's nothing i can do about that so y'all just bear with me just listen to it just act like there's nothing there oh wait, well, he stopped so oh no there it goes so what i got for y'all today is I've been gone because I've had a bunch of stuff going on. I've had freaking ups and downs, whoop de doops and all that shit and whatnot. Been aggravating, been trying to post, but if y'all want to watch and stay tuned, that'd be much appreciated. And thank y'all for the extra subscriber I just got because it's freaking amazing, especially if I ain't posted in two months. So thanks y'all and stay tuned. If y'all want to watch, I will see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so I'm hoping y'all can see me, but I just wrote down a few things of what I need to talk about because it's a, it's kind of a lot to remember at one time. It, to me, it seems like a lot, but it might go about a lot quicker on video, so. First thing is I had an iPhone SE, and this isn't really a good video, but hopefully y'all like it. I had an iPhone SE. And I had that phone for about two years. I bought it out of a work emergency. So I was videoing with that. So I had two or three videos getting done on that on that phone. I don't remember what the videos were about because I just I don't I don't remember. I just don't remember. It's been a few it's been a few months. I don't really remember. So what happened was is I was at work story time and I got off work and I was tired and I was on it. We went back to my, I rode with a guy from work, and then we went back to his house, blah, 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 to drop me off because my car was parked there, and after that, it was gone. So, that phone is gone, it's disappeared, it's cut off, everything's erased on it, it's gone, can't get nothing back. So now, I had a backup iPhone 8, so I have that, I've had that phone forever, I had it before I had the SE, so... Eight's not a bad phone. The quality really wasn't that bad. But what happened with that phone was is it was already a beat up phone. It was cracked. Both front and back was cracked. There was a crack through my camera. So when I tried to video, it would glare. So it, it was it's just, it's just, it was bad. So that phone, I was at work and I had it in my shirt pocket. Well, I leaned over and I fell out and it was that last drop. So now the phone's gone. So I bought a new one. I have an iPhone 13 Pro. So I had to go in and get a new phone and I went ahead and got a good one. Hopefully y'all can see me pretty good. But let's talk about, I'll go back to the iPhone. I'll go back to the new phone. Let's talk about like what, back, what type of videos were on the iPhone 8. I didn't even say that. So I had a video, I was working on a bench. I built a swing for my mom for Mother's Day, like five years ago. And my dad bought a new swing and replaced it. So I was turning that swing into a bench. So I was working on a bench video, so that was pretty cool to learn how to build it. It's been taking me forever. I actually had to, I built it, but I had to take it apart and rebuild it because I built it wrong. I wasn't as sturdy, it wasn't as good. But right now I'm almost done with it, but we'll get to that later on. So I also bought my dad a grill, 28 inch Blackstone griddle grill for his freaking birthday, his 53rd birthday. That's what upset me the most. I even got his reaction and I lost everything. I just, speaking of that, I just put it out there by his other grill that's broke. So I lost that. That's gone. Then I had a 4th of July video on my dad's boat. So if you seen the video it's, it's probably not the best because it was on the se so i don't know it's it ain't been months i don't think it's been months but it's it's been about two months at least that was on the se iphone se so it's a cheaper phone so the quality is not as good and i didn't have good lighting so i apologize for that i'm working on that that video was good i went out on a freaking 28 foot speedboat there was fireworks there was everything i actually got a clip where the lightning struck because it was kind of like wanting to rain but the lightning struck and as soon as it struck fireworks went off so it was like boom and it lit up everything so i lost that 
Then I have a few problems wrong on my foil or two, so I have videos about that. I'm gonna make a video about that, but I'm gonna get on with when I talk about what I said a bench. Yeah, I gotta get on with the bench. I'm gonna get working on that. So that's really everything that I lost. But I, I don't. I was gonna talk about stuff that I'm doing, but I'm gonna wait, wait to do that. So stay tuned if y'all want to watch. And I'm gonna try to make this video as interesting as possible as I can. So see y'all in a minute. Thanks y'all. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, the bench is right here. There's a bunch of mess on it right now. I'm actually gonna clean that up real quick. But the full is right there. I will talk about that in the next video, what's going on with that. But I'm going to clean this mess up real quick, and I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, so what I got going on at the moment is you can see right here up. Come on, phone. Focus. There's a line right there. That's nine and a half inches. I did that on both sides, and I'm trying to figure out what piece of what I want to use, thick two by four or the small thin piece and whatnot so that's what i'm doing at the moment i'll see y'all in a second all right y'all so what i got going on is i got all this that's what i'm using so i kept it there got some wood just got a bunch of stuff in this garage right now i've been able to do anything that's why i really haven't worked on the four wheeler but i'll get to that as soon as i can but what i got going on excuse me is i was videoing a video about me building this bench and it's been taking me forever but it was fine because i had the video going up but right now the only two things i have to do to this bench is sand it down three things sand it down paint it and build the arms and maybe do a little bit more support so four things so if y'all want to watch and stay tuned that would be great to see how i do it i know it's not the craziest video but y'all just support me that'd be freaking amazing and thanks y'all all right so i decided to go with the actual two by four and not the thinner one so what i'm gonna start doing i'm sorry if the sun glare is bad i'm having to stand in the sun so the glare isn't um, bad on my camera but i'm gonna start making measurements and cutting stuff and i'll see y'all in a minute all right y'all so like i said i was gonna get some measurements well i got this measurement which is measurement 18 inches long and then this is eight inches so what's going to happen i'm gonna recut this one because i got it all jacked up is i go from there and here like that and then just, just screw it in this handle here up where it's going to sit is nine inches nine and a half inches i'm pretty sure right now i have another piece over there that i have to trim the bottom and when i get done trimming the bottom i'll get back to y'all and show you all that all right, y'all, hopefully y'all can see me pretty good, but I got it kind of like sitting up on a box on a tall thing in the garage. So hopefully it's not too bad, but right now, like I said, I got to take that piece and I got to trim a little bit off. Well, I'm also going to recut this piece because it's all jacked up and I got to trim, straighten out that cut and probably yeah i just got to straighten out that cut too and i'll see y'all in a minute when i got this trimmed up i'll try to do a time lapse or whatnot so see you in a second All right, so I got the wood trimmed up to what I needed, but it turns out that that 28 inch piece, 28 inches is, was it? Yeah, no, no, it's not 20, it was 18 inch arm piece, it needs to be about 19 or so inches. So I'm having to recut it. So this wood is no good. I can still use this for the eight or nine inch piece that I need, but I have that marked down right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and just build the arms and i'll get back to y'all when the arms are done because my neighbor is listening to music on his harley and it's very loud and 
I just don't want to be videoing too much with him playing music, so I'll catch up with y'all in a minute when I got the arms done. Alright, so I just finished the arms. They're kind of sturdy. They're sturdy enough. It's just, it's, it's been a pain in the butt trying to figure it out. But right now, that's what she kind of looks like. I mean, she's, it's not, I'm not no professional, so it ain't going to be perfect. But next step is to maybe do a little bit more support, whatnot, maybe on the arm, maybe on the bottom, sand and paint. So I got three more steps left. Then knock one out, which are the arms. And I'm going to get to doing that right now. All right, so I apologize if you can hear the rain. But I got the arms put on. That one's a little sloped down because the bench is all weird. It'll be all right once it's painted. But right now, I'm just taking some of this putty stuff I just got laying around. And I'm filling in these gaps a little bit. So there's not... I did this yesterday, this one yesterday. I just, just did this one. Just smooth it out, fill in these gaps. Focus, phone. And fill in like little old screw holes. Let it harden for about a day. I'm going to do that around the whole bench. And then it's time to sand it for paint. All right, so if y'all remember seeing in the last clip or so where I was filling the gaps in, Sanding it down where it's nice and smooth so there's no, like, old screw holes and whatnot. Well, I ended up just wanting to... I am going to redo that arm real quick, and then I'll get back with y'all when I got it done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the gaps in with that putty. And I'll see y'all in a minute when I'm filling the gaps in with the putty. All right, y'all. So, it took me a while to do it, but I got her done. She's actually way sturdier. Than this one is but what i'm gonna start doing is i'm gonna start filling these little holes in like i did over here i'm gonna fill these in i'm just gonna fill them all in fill that in because it messed up and then i'm just gonna fill some of these in maybe put a little bit right here smooth it out but that's what i'm about to do since i got the arm done i'm so ready to get this bench done so i can start working on the freaking four wheeler so i'm just gonna make this quicker and i'm just going to fill the things in and sand it down and then call it quits on that and i will catch back up with y'all when i am done with that all right y'all apologize if you can hear people in the background but she is sanded for some reason this putty is like pushing up i don't know it's like coming out from where i sanded it like right here like that that wasn't like that yesterday i don't know why we'll fix that knock it off but so far i'm pretty much done i just gotta paint it sanding is done i told y'all i'll get back to y'all when the sanding was done it's done the thing looks good the thing is smooth and i'm about to get to painting it so i can finish this thing all right y'all so she is officially freaking done finally i yesterday i moved it over here and it's kind of a cluster right now, but she does look good. So if y'all like the video, like, subscribe, watch more. And I got another video coming up about the four-wheeler. So stay tuned to watch. Thanks, y'all.